It's Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Decided I'd make, do this one a little early because I did miss yesterday, April 420. Not for the reason you might think. I had an extra productive day. But I did say that 420 would be a special day for the Corporate Cowboys podcast. My name is Alex. I'm your social media intern forever entry level powered by incorporating associates it's a special day why because officially the name is ours corporate cowboys we run that shit now (laughs) i was keeping it kind of hush but i'm gonna start making a little bit more noise Thankfully, the Corporate Cowboys project has been slow going, but it's been smooth. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. So that's my angle. When I first started, I mean, when it it was first started... The Corporate Cowboys podcast, this was approximately two and a half years ago. But the name Corporate Cowboys has been used since almost 2015. And that's been us using it. There's somebody else on YouTube who published some album about Corporate Cowboys. And it's nice and all. Don't get me wrong, but ours has been ours has been in use even before that with the insignia pins, which you can get by the way, and uh the store will be going live soon currently it's under construction, but pretty soon here it will be. At www.corporatecowboys.xyz. Man, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. It took us a moment too. Why? Because we're different. We're going to be different. It's the future. So that's a special announcement. That's the public service announcement that the name officially belongs to us. Apparently, also when I first embarked on this endeavor, there was another corporate cowboys um, channel or podcast station on the platform we were using. And they only had one apparently test episode, like five seconds long. But... But trademark use requires that um, it be actively used. It can't just be a placeholder. I've done some of the research myself. So it must be an active use. And if it is abandoned or no longer in use for at least two years, for at least two years, It's free game. And it's been two years since I've seen it be used. So one can reasonably reasonably infer, one can reasonably infer that it's been abandoned. As such, the Corporate Cowboys podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates, is official and it's forever <laughs> feels good saying that that's some corporate cowboy shit i'm going to title this the origin the origin of corporate cowboys or the origin story yeah origin story <laughs> 
Every now and then, folks that I talk to about corporate cowboys, about being a corporate cowboy, about just, you know, just the name and the mission, what it means to be a corporate cowboy in modern day capitalism within modern day, modern day capitalism, not, not capitalism as it's meant to be because it doesn't exist. Pure capitalism, pure capitalism, pure socialism, pure fucking whatever ism does not exist. Why? Because you're dealing with humans. You're fucking with humans, man. And humans have this little feature about them. (laughs) We have this feature about us called human nature and it's corruptible (laughs) that's that's our nature that's our nature we start innocent yet we are corruptible and as human nature gets corrupt humans working together become corrupted It's not, it's not inevitable. It's not a natural process. It's not, what's it called? It's not a predetermined end. It, It doesn't happen automatically, but it does happen. It's only natural. It's a natural cause. (laughs) I laugh because when folks say, oh, they died of natural causes. Well, motherfucker, I'm natural. I'm a natural cause. They died of natural causes. (laughs) But you can see it. What corruption really looks like. You've been shown it. Even if you've closed your eyes, you can feel it. It's a whole fucking vibe. Inside corporate, you got to know when to pull strings, how hard to pull them, and when to cut them. Meaning, meaning, when the boat's rocking too hard, and the captain has their bitch card pulled, you have to know how to swim. You have to know how to swim with the sharks, man. It's sink or swim. It's do or die on some corporate cowboy shit. So what's that mean in the context of business? Well, let me put it this way. Business is war, right? And when you're conducting business, you're trying to maximize your profits in order to expand your sphere of influence, we'll call it. You want to maximize every opportunity you get to expand on that sphere of influence you might have. It could could never be completely worldwide. You can't monopolize the world. That's impossible. Why? Again, because (laughs) you're dealing with humans. You're trying to monopolize humans. And humans die. It would take at least one lifetime to monopolize the world and nobody's lived that long. Even if we're talking about what's the term? Principalities. Even if we are talking about principalities, they operate through people with names and faces. They operate through humans and humans don't live forever. (laughs) <laughs> I 
And that's weird that it takes at least one lifetime because you'd think one side or the other would have won by now. But no, it's a never ending war. The beautiful thing about it is that there is endless value to be created. There's endless, <clears throat> there's endless, what's the opposite of that? Endless despair, I guess to be created there's no limit to the amount of value or the amount of despair that can be created there's no limit there's no fucking limit it's, it's wild to think about but one can necessarily create heaven and hell right here on earth everybody everybody else and i mean everybody Everybody who is alive today, who is not living forever, is stuck between those two. One might call it purgatory. One might call it purgatory. But we're within heaven and hell. And it's a sliding scale. From place to place, region to region, from day to day, even. What matters is striking out on your own to build your own network of individuals who are oriented towards being better and pushing that scale a little closer to the side of, uh, of good, of what's good, of heaven. And what's good of hell? I mean, obviously, everything in moderation, right? But you want what's good. You want what's better. You want what's productive. Because you can't have the good without the bad. In order to even recognize the good, you have to know what bad looks like. And be able to distinguish them. Be able to discriminate. Be able to contrast. Compare prefer and decide you have to prefer being good <laughs> i'm i'm fucking talking i feel like i'm talking around the name the name corporate cowboys where the fuck did it come from what's its origin story well there was a documentary that i saw only halfway through and it clicked automatically. So I shut it off. I didn't even have to see the whole fucking thing. It's called Cocaine Cowboys. The point of that documentary were individuals inside of government organizations. Three-letter government entities. Individuals inside of these government entities. As well as... Other criminal organizations, the ones who actually produce the product. The yo Yane, the Yayo, <laughs> the yo Yane, the Yola, the A1 cream fish scale. Individuals inside of government organizations working together with individuals inside of criminal organizations. Working together to divert product and sell product against the wishes of the heads of their organizations. Let me repeat that one more time. Individuals working together to sell a product, to sell a product, sell a service against the wishes of the heads of their organizations. That's deep. Let me unpack that real quick. So the heads of these organizations, uh, the government organizations and the criminal organizations, and I'm talking in a very vague general terms because as much as I, as much as I want to, as much as I want to get on the leaders board, I don't want, I don't want unnecessary attention for having placed. You feel me? I don't want to be first. I'm satisfied with placing second, even third. I'll let motherfuckers go before me just so I don't come in first. <laughs> but that's only because I know how corruption works. I know what it looks like. So first place is an 
unnerving place to be. Individuals working together to sell this product, to get this product off, diverting it from the regular chain of consumers in order to send it where they want it to go, where they need it to go, so that they can make a profit. And within those chains are individuals who, who benefit from it, who take a little bit off of the top. And those individuals who decided to work together outside of their organizations to uh, quote unquote reach across the aisle, <laughs> these government organizations necessarily, um, well, you would think they're working for the best interest of their citizens. You would think. But these individuals proved otherwise. These individuals proved that the exact opposite could happen. They took it upon themselves to conduct their own business. They took it upon themselves to handle business together. They banded together like cowboys in order to make something in order to make something of, um, I don't want to say of nothing, because a kilo is not nothing. <laughs> but they wanted to make something out of what was supposed to be nothing. Even if it was, you know, to take the profits and fund some kind of dark war, some, some shadow war <clears throat> in a third world country they were able to finance it by being cowboys about it against the will of the heads of their organizations okay I've been vague enough how does this translate to corporate what the fuck is a corporate cowboy Well, a corporate cowboy works with capital, works within capitalism. A corporate cowboy, I guess if we wanted to get scholarly, is a radical capitalist. A capitalist, um, I won't say absolutist, but a radical capitalist. Given today's climate, given this postmodern <laughs> corporatist world, and corporate cowboys necessarily want to make something out of nothing, this nothing being corporate profits. Corporate profits <laughs> are supposed to be non-existent, but they are not non-existent, they're there. Instead, corporations operate in a way where they believe their primary mission is the creation of profits. And they're very efficient at it. Very efficient at it. So what they're doing is just accumulating capital. Here's the rub. Is that they don't reinvest it. They don't reinvest it adequately. Myself as a radical capitalist, my associates and my homies, we believe there isn't enough reinvestment. How do we know? Look at the fucking salaries that are coming out of these organizations. Look at the bonuses that are thrown at executives, not even top executives. Do they deserve it? Do they deserve all this money, all this value that's being created in their organization and then siphoned out 
skimmed out, diverted. Hmm. If it's being diverted, well then fuck. You might think these individuals are corporate cowboys. But the step they are stopping at, the point at which they are stopping at is just pulling the value out of the organization, diverting it. And they don't reinvest it. So no, they're not corporate cowboys. I'm sorry. They're just hoarders. <laughs> they're just hoarders of fiat. And fiat is flammable. <laughs> oh, shit. That's some corporate cowboy shit, dude. Even better would be that they took that and reinvested it in another organization that creates more value that they can bankroll, that they can prop up and get going. And it snowballs into more capital and more capital. That's not to say over time, over time, they wouldn't be getting the same amount in returns as they are from just the one salary that they're completely sucking up and usurping. But motherfuckers don't want to invest in the long term anymore. And as a corporate cowboy, it's our job to convince them. It's our job to persuade them. It's our job to herd them. Like the cattle they are. Like the stock they control. They might be stockholders. And I, I mean like cattle. They might be... <laughs> I'm trying to... Hold on. I'm trying to parallelize. Parallelize uh, cattle and, and stock into livestock. I'm trying. I'm trying to blend them. Bear with me. <laughs> they might be handlers of stock, right? In parentheses, livestock. But corporate cowboys are individuals who know how to handle humans inside of corporate. That's livestock. So what do corporate cowboys do? Corporate cowboys come together and collaborate on projects that demand investment in order to create value. That's some corporate cowboy shit. Corporate cowboys working together and they could be inside or outside of organizations, but they work together to create initiatives and get that investment. That creates value in the long term. And you know how I know these uh, top execs, top execs, you know how I know these execs, these corporate fat cats are not corporate cowboys, just corporate fat cats, because cats run, cats fucking run, cats are scared of noise, cats are, cats back down, their shareholders start bitching a little bit, start whining in their ear, start piping up, start throwing suits at them, lawsuits. And these corporate fat cats, they fucking crumble. <laughs> they fall back. They fold. They become more focused on creating dividends than they are actually creating value. They believe profits in the short term will appease these voices of whinging. These whining voices. But again, 
You're dealing with humans. You're dealing with human nature. As a corporate cowboy, you have to recognize that if you were in that same position, you have to recognize you might operate the same way. And then you would not be a corporate cowboy. <laughs> I pray if I ever end up in that position, somebody just knocks me off, yo. Because that's hell. Catch us on Instagram. The handle is at incorporating associates. My apologies. It's um, our handle is corporate cowboys. And it's uh, you'll see the picture. You'll find us. You can subscribe on Patreon. That's the corporate cowboys podcast. And if you want to donate, by all means, it's very much appreciated to keep this operation nonprofit. Have you seen some of the salaries coming out of these nonprofits? God damn. That's how you know. That's how you know capitalism is, is, is a worthwhile endeavor. That's how you know capitalism is the end all be all. But for it to continue, you need radical capitalists. There's no such thing as a halfway crook. So there's no such thing as a halfway capitalist. As soon as they start siphoning value out of the... As soon as they start siphoning... As soon as folks start siphoning value out of capitalism, that is not capitalism. That's an episode for another day, though. You can spot us a dollar, spot us five... Via Venmo at Alex underscore Coco. Cash app. That's dollar sign corporate cowboys. And PayPal dot me slash corporate cowboys. So I want to wish you congratulations. If you've made it this far, stuck it out. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Man, you thought the ride was rough. What's it? How's the saying go? There's a saying that we had in some circles where the saying goes, we're almost, hold on, how's it go? We're almost, uh, we're almost finished. Hold on. <laughs> It's on the tip of my tongue. We're almost done. That's it. We're almost done. We just have to finish. <laughs> uh.